This right here was one of the dumbest controversies I've seen on YouTube and Twitter, because you know, smart life forms come from Twitter, that I've seen in a very, very long time. YouTuber known as Gradia Andurra, aka Grade A Under A, got himself into quite a pickle. Now, what did he do? He made a video about funeral homes, and he was talking about people work 40, 50, 60 hours a week. You bust your ass your entire life, and then what happens? You spend your life savings to get put into the dirt, just for the grubs and the worms to eat you, and then after that, like, you know, little flowers sprout out of you, and the kids, you know, they go smell the flowers you know it's the cycle of life you know you spend your whole life working you can get put into the dirt and then all the plants and all the grubs they eat you up and then you know energy just gets recycled but he hates the idea that you have to spend so much money to get put into that dirt, which i agree but here's the thing when he was talking about this business he then used a racist caricature or you know it's not even racist it's anti-semitic but he used you know the jewish caricature you know the merchant rubbing the hands and i can't wait to get all your money with the big nose and stuff like that he did make the change to mr krabs and all that stuff, which Mr. Krabs already to me is a very, you know, it's an obvious stereotype on Jews. I would love to see an argument against Mr. Krabs not being a Jewish stereotype. I'd love to hear an argument that it's not one, but you know, it is what it is. Which, one thing that boggles my mind is how did he even get in trouble? Um, I'm surprised people are even upset, especially the climate that we live in now. Because wasn't that two years ago? Everybody was like hating on Kanye West for being anti-Semitic and all this stuff. Um, and now people are making tweets. And you've seen this on Twitter or X and Instagram. What's a celebrity that we all owe an apology to? And it's like Kanye West like that. And I was like, yeah, you, everybody loves Kanye now because being anti-Semitic is like the new thing. It's like the new fad, right? And I've said this in multiple videos. There's always a cultural shift of a group of people that everybody hates. And it kind of plays hot potato. And I can't wait till Puerto Ricans get it. Oh, it's going to be great being Puerto Rican when this like hate regime happens. I mean, remember it was like white people were hated a lot during like the 2010s, like the mid to late ones. And then it was like black people, and then it was Asians, and then black people got it again. <laughs> and then uh, after that, it became uh, oh, Indians and Jews as of recent. Like, yo, whoo, Indians have been getting it. Oh, you guys seen that? Like, if you go on Instagram or Twitter, X, you go anywhere, the, the amount of Indian hate is like, wow, like, whoo, damn. I'm gonna suck to be Indian. That's getting me nervous because I know at some point it's gonna be my whole entire crew that's gonna get up on that chopping block, man. I'm sitting there like, whoa, I don't know. I'm preparing for it. <laughs> mentally, I'm mentally preparing for it. Just open up Instagram and see all these things about how horrible we are and all this other stuff. But here's the point that I'm gonna get to. He uploads this racist caricature. Oh, it's not even really racist, it's anti-Semitic, as I said before, if I haven't already clarified that. Um, because again, being Jewish is a um it's a decision, it's a religion. You don't have to be Jewish. So you can't be racist if you don't like that group of people because it's a religion. You know, Islamophobia, anti-Semitism, Christianophobia. And again, one big thing I find that's very stupid and silly is that there's a big hoopla over certain people that like to, you know, cry about anti-Semitism. But then was it not just at the Olympics where like they mocked the shit out the Last Supper and everybody was like, oh. Does anybody just look the other way? No one cared. So you can openly mock certain religions, but then certain religions are not allowed to get mocked. I find that very funny. I find that incredibly funny. So you can mock Christianity. And that's something that's always been around. Only Christians are allowed to get openly mocked, ridiculed. You're allowed to grab crosses and hold them upside down. You're allowed to like grab an actual cross with Christ on it. And I've seen people upload, I've seen women upload this to Twitter. Well, they'll grab a cross with Christ on it and put it up themselves. And, you know, um, put, you know, suction cup you know, phallic items and then bounce on it while it's suction cup to a Bible. So people do that all the time and just absolutely ridicule Christianity. Um, but as long as it's not Jewish or uh, Muslim, then, it, you know, it gets the okay. I've always thought that was very silly. But one thing I do want to state about Gradia Andura right here was his response. His response, which I do want to state this much. This guy got no punishment for it, right? As bad as it may be, you know, depending on who you ask. Personally, I don't give a fuck. But as bad... <laughs> I'm gonna keep it gangster, y'all. I don't really care. I'm just making a video because I want to talk about it, right? But here's the thing. He made a very disingenuous response. And YouTube didn't even, like, give him a strike. They didn't take down his channel or take down the video. They just demonetized... The video they didn't even demonetize his channel for the racist caricature. Which we know how YouTube is. Very vague rules. If something's hateful or hate speech, very vague. It kind of comes down to the individual who's going to be giving it a human review. I mean, some people who are human reviews will uh, allow things to slide. Some people won't. Some people, you know, it depends on who gets their hands on it. But essentially, here's his response. <clears throat> 
People call everything racist nowadays. Which, I don't know, you ever hear his voice? He sounds like his lungs are fighting his diaphragm. It's a weird-ass fucking voice. But people call everything racist nowadays. I used a random meme character I found in a thumbnail, and it's causing uproar. So I change it, I guess. Don't see how it's racist myself, but I have to be careful with people nowadays, so I'll change it. Shame. Anyways, read it today or tomorrow, which he is right. It's not racist. It's anti-Semitic because, again, being Jewish is not a race. That's a choice of religion. Um, but at the end of the day, you know how it is. Um, today's climate, the worst thing you can do is dislike a group of people for their beliefs or what they eat. Oh, God. Oh, God. So, like, there's murder. You know, there's abduction. There's assaulting others in various ways. But no, 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 no. You know... What takes the cake is disliking somebody for their culture. Like, come on, get fucking real, guys. I hate casual racism. That's why I'm competitive when it comes to it. But here's the big thing right here. I don't like his disingenuous approach. Like, he's like, why are your people upset? And, like, he has, like, this idea where it's like he doesn't understand that caricature. Which I have a question for him, right? I used a random meme character I found in a thumbnail and it's causing uproar. But why'd you use it? Do you not understand what that caricature was? And if you didn't understand what that caricature was, why'd you use it in the connotation of money grubbing? And you know what you did. You know, you just thought you'd get away with it, but you know what you did. It's pretty stupid. Again, personally, what I don't give a shit because no one cares. It's like, it's this weird idea where like me as a Christian, I should be like some watchdog for like other religions watch around and oh my god that's anti-semitic that's islamophobic that's buddhist phobia and but the second you know christians come to the chopping block and people you know piss on a picture of christ wipe their ass with the bible or they'll grab bibles and you know they rip out the sheets and they roll a blunt and smoke it they can do that and i'm just to sit there and be like yeah and no one says nothing and mock the last supper on a grand stage in the olympics no one cares but, oh my god, racist, oh, 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 racist caricature. Guys, the sky is falling. The sky is falling. It's like, no, not really. You know, I don't think it's big of a deal. You know, I'm personally, I don't give a shit. No one gives a shit when I'm on the chopping block, so why should I care about that one? And, and it's just stupid. It's a caricature. He played very disingenuous. And here's one thing I do want to say. The guy's incredibly brilliant. He's a very smart individual. Um, from what I remember, again, here's one thing I will state. This guy, is he or is he not a mathematician in a private tutor? I remember hearing that when I was a teenager. I've been watching this guy for many years. Many years. I've been watching him for many years. And for... <laughs> he's a, a private tutor. I could have sworn he's a mathematician, a private tutor. The guy's like well into his 30s, possibly his 40s. Very smart individual. And yet, you didn't know that, you know, that would kind of be an issue using a caricature um, that is... Also framed in a negative light by your video itself because again you want to talk about some money grubbing business and all this other stuff and then put the Jewish caricature right there. Like, come on. Now again, my opinion on this entire situation, I don't care. I genuinely don't care. Well then why'd you make a video about it? Because it happened and I want to talk about it and I want to let everybody know that I don't give a shit. <laughs> That's why. This is my channel. It's my channel. Oh, it's because you're racist and you're looking out for your racist buddies. Well, being Jewish is not a race and uh, there you go. It's not a race. And again, you think I sit here and I just rub my hands together and, uh, you know, <gasps> I can't wait to hate on this group of people. Like, that's not how that works. I thought everybody was stupid for going after Kanye. I think everybody's stupid for not licking his boots. So I think you're just stupid, right? Because here's my thing. I want to say this much. I want to end this video saying this much. Think for yourself. Stop waiting for the opinions of the crowd. Think for yourself, okay? Think for yourself. Have an opinion yourself. Think for like one second. Just stand alone and, ah, oh, man. Just watch all the idiots just like get mad and bandwagon. Because again, it was two years ago. People hated Kanye. Now people are loving him and worshiping him because he now fits the new narrative. He now fits the new idea of you should hate this group of people because of this, even though not every single group of people, not every single person in that group is part of what's going on. Obviously, I'm talking about the war over there. The war that's been going on for like a thousand years at this point. Oh my God. We're going to bring peace to the Middle East. There's never going to be peace in the Middle East. Yeah, two groups of people right there who have differing opinions. They're never going to get along. Okay, it's just not going to happen. And if you think it's going to happen, why didn't it happen a thousand years ago?
Why didn't it happen 800 years ago? 700, 600, 500, 400, 300, 200. Why come it's not happening today? Or a thousand years these motherfuckers been fighting. And they're going to keep fighting. My God. So, anyway. That's my uh, idea or my thoughts on it. The only thing I really hated about this entire situation. Again, like I really didn't care too much. It was just a disingenuous idea of why am I getting hate? Dude, you're smarter than that. Come on, don't play stupid. Anyway, I'm your boy, Cole Raven. So with that being said, oh, hey, you know what? Yeah, I don't like the disingenuous shit. Four thumbs down. Oh my. Playing stupid.